next topic i am going to discuss uh, the next topic in the series of uh, angular momentum chapter spherical yeah. polar coordinate Spherical polar coordinates. So, if a system is symmetrically arranged in potential, which means uh, spherical symmetry, then the potential V is a function of R only and uh, it appropriate to write the Schrodinger equation uh, in spherical polar coordinates such as uh, R, uh, theta and phi position. Um, polar angle and algebra. Since the potential energy V of R is independent of its variables uh, theta and phi. So in that situation, we are going to change Schrodinger wave equation to the in terms of uh, spherical polar coordinates, especially uh, angular momentum topics. So In case, for example, a rigid body is say you want to calculate rigid body eigenvalues and uh, eigenfunctions of rigid body, then we want to use uh, spherical polar coordinates. And, uh, again, three dimensional body height is not necessary. We want to use uh, this uh, spherical polar coordinate uh, uh, from sorting the wave equation. By using this sorting the equation, we are going to try to solve the eigenvalues and eigenfunctions. Of hydros not and uh, rigid just so that is the purpose of that we have to uh, today then the spherical polar coordinates okay let's start the spherical polar coordinates this is x-axis this is y-axis and this is z-axis so in this x and y and z-axis position of the system mm -hmm. Suppose this is the position of the system. Okay. This P, I'm going to write here. This is the P. X, Y. That we need three degrees of freedom, right? Then, so it is origin O, right? Essence to R. So theta is a polar, here the theta is angle. So very important thing is here. I'm going to Try to connect this thing, and this is the pi, and this component is this is z, right? This is z is equal to r cos theta. This is r sine theta. This is y, this is 
y this is x axis so in terms of r theta phi is so the spherical polar coordinates the x equal to r sine sine theta cos phi the x component and y component is the r sine theta sine phi z component is r cos theta so for example if i take the um, three cases are there one is case one here i am taking first case x square plus y square plus z square is equal to okay one is the circle because of it is spherical polar coordinate then the z z sorry y divided by z i want to tan pi value from this so second case tan pi equal to from here y divided in the similar case 3 so x square plus y square divided by z square is equal to tan square theta so let us try to solve these things then we can get spherical polar coordinates okay the first one is first case is x square plus y square plus z square equal to r square partial differentiation with respect to the partial differentiation with respect to this equation to this one okay with respect to x y z i am going to partial derivative with this respect to x y and z so with respect to x we derive this thing 2x 2x is equal to 2r dot r so therefore though r divided by so x equal to x divided by r no x x is equal to here r sin theta cos phi r sin theta cos phi divided by r so therefore do r divided by so x equal to sin theta cos pi. So this is another equation. In this similar way, with respect to y, I am going to derive this equation partial derivation to y do y equal to 2r do r then do r partial derivative of partial derivative of r partial derivative partial derivative of r divided by partial derivative of y equal to y so y divided by r not equal to this equation sin sin theta 
sine phi so therefore so r divided by so y equal to sin theta sin phi so this is another equation Next, With respect to z, 2z, so r equal to 2r, so r. sorry this one is z, not r, so do r divided by 2z equal to z divided by r. But equal to this one is cos theta. So partial derivative of r divided by partial derivative of z equal to cos theta. This is another equation. So second case, second case is direct. Uh, going to use the second case so y divided by x is equal to tan pi, right? So partial derivative with respect to x, y, z be careful here this is u divided by v so i'm going to derive this thing with respect to x first so y constant divided by uh, 1 divided by x minus 1 divided by x square right at equal to tan theta you can square theta digit you can square I so pi so here though x is okay then though then partial derivative of pi divided by partial derivative of x equal to minus y divided by x square second square pi so this is the equation in a similar fashion if you try to derive with respect to y got this thing partial derivative of y divided by partial derivative of y equal to cos y divided by R sine theta. Okay. With respect to z, so pi divided by do z equal to zero. There is no z component, right? Then final case, third case is x square plus y square divided by z square equal to tan square theta. So same thing with respect to, I am going to partial derivative with respect to x. 
Y de okay. So if you derive this one is x square plus y square by z square with respect to x, y square divided by z square is constant. The remaining things are you can write like this with respect to x. So two two x two x okay two x. So before that, uh, I want to do one simple equation here. So that is the uh, here I am making x square less y square equal to z square tan square theta. Now you can do the partial derivative to y and z. You can get easily answer. So in case if I derive with respect to x, respect to x, okay. So 2x, this one is 0, right? 2x, partial derivative of x, z square is constant, tan square theta. 2 tan theta, second square theta, d theta. So therefore, do partial derivative of theta by do x equal to x divided by z squared and theta second square theta you can try to put x value x is equal to r sine theta cos pi right divided by z square is r square cos square r square cos square and theta then sine theta i'm going to write sine theta divided by cos theta then here second square theta i'm going to write this one cos square theta so all these things going to get cancelled the remaining things only cos theta okay cos theta cos pi divided by r so i got do theta divided by do x equal to cos theta cos pi divided by r Next, in a similar way, you can derive the money. Uh, so, partial derivative of theta with respect to theta with respect to y. In case if you derive, maybe you got this cos theta sine pi divided by. Do okay. theta divided by so z equal to minus sine theta divided by r r. Okay, now it is time to that are the final things. Del Laplace operator. So we know this del operator that we can just this del operator I'm going to Right, so by so x 
sama dua by dua y sama dua by dua z These are depends on theta r theta i right so i can write these things partial derivative forms dou by dou x i am going to express this thing and write dou r with respect to dou r divided by dou x dou by dou r right plus partial derivative of theta divided by dou x I am going to write this one dou by dou theta plus partial derivative of pi divided by partial derivative of x by dou pi and similarly dou by dou y equal to the partial derivative of r divided by 2y to 2 by dou r plus dou theta divided by 2y dou by dou theta plus dou pi divided by pi dou y dou pi divided by partial derivative of y into dou by dou pi okay. next dou by dou z by z equal to partial derivative of r divided by partial derivative of z into partial derivative of dou by dou r plus so and write like this then you can try to substitute these values whatever we derived up and you can get the answer finally okay so we know dou by dou theta, dou by dou pi, everything value, every value. Will. So see here, dou by dou theta is there, and that is there, and dou by dou r is value. Everything is there. So you try to put all these things here. So especially in the dou by dou r only, right? Dou by dou r. Okay. Next dou pi by dou y. Come see here r theta pi r theta pi so if you put r theta pi values in this uh, equations so you got the spherical polar coordinate spherical polar coordinates value So, no need to simplify directly, you can get answer. You put dou by dou x equal to this uh, dou r divided by dou x, right? Dou r divided by dou x, or this one. Okay, first one is r, dou r divided by the sine theta cos theta. That's it. So, remaining thing is same. Sine theta cos pi. So this derivation is very important because uh, we're going to use this spherical polar coordinate frequently in quantum mechanics, especially in uh, at scattering theory. Generally, we are going to use only these spherical polar coordinate systems okay. so it's better to 
try to derive once you can understand so don't buy at the try to derive if you take the 10 minutes to derivation since it is plus is why i'm explaining very slowly so go by go by okay next so by do y equal to the sine theta sine pi so by to r plus cos theta sine pi divided by r divided by r so by do theta plus cos pi divided by r sin theta do by do pi and do by do z equal to cos theta do by do r minus sine theta divided by r do by do do theta so, so these are the vertical polar coordinates so by using this vertical polar coordinates we're going to Yes, okay. Yes, okay. So, do by do x, this, these are the spherical polar coordinates. Well, very, very important. By using this uh, spherical polar coordinates, in next class, I am going to uh, derive angular momentum components in terms of uh, spherical polar coordinates those are very very important